Hi, I'm Sean Canning, Principal Architect at 1070 Architecture. We're one of the leading experts in San Diego's new accessory dwelling unit regulations. And I wanted to make another quick video to talk about the City of San Diego reinstating their impact fee policy for certain multiple ADU projects. So I guess a good way to start this video would be to try to explain what an impact fee is. This is actually quite more difficult than I thought it would be. Basically, if you're going to build a new house, one of the fees you're going to pay before you get your permit issued is called a development impact fee, sometimes just referred to as an impact fee. And impact fees range in price from neighborhood to neighborhood. I've seen them as low as $4,000, and they can go as high as $100,000. So you're going to build a new home, you're going to pay one impact fee. You build two new homes, you're going to pay two impact fees. If you build a certain ADU, you may be subject to one impact fee. So what does the impact fee actually cover? Well, I, I googled the definition here. Actually, I'm in the San Diego's municipal code right here. And section 142.0640, development impact fees for public facilities and spaces. And this, the, the written purpose here is to implement the city's general plan which contains policies related to the maintenance of an effective facilities financing program to ensure the impact of new development is mitigated through appropriate fees. Okay, so what they're telling us here is they use these impact fees to maintain the general plan, which is going to include parks and utilities and streets, but they're also saying that they're using these to mitigate the impact of new development. And as you know, San Diego has an incredible housing crisis right now. So I can only think this policy is a little strange. Okay, let's dig into the municipal code and figure out exactly when these impact fees are gonna be assessed on our ADU projects. So it's pretty complicated. So I'm just gonna do my best to summarize it for you here. Basically, if you build two ADUs, you're not going to pay these impact fees. And each of those ADUs can be 1,200 square feet. But if you went to build a third ADU, that's when they're going to hit you with this impact fee. And there's a little asterisk there because you'd actually have to build that third ADU larger than 750 square feet. So if you were to keep a third, fourth, fifth, and sixth ADU under 750 square feet, you're not going to be subject to these impact fees. But if you do build one that's about 751 square feet, they're going to hit you with what they are calling a scaled development impact fee, which is based on the size of the ADU you're choosing to build. Now, there's a couple other loopholes where you can avoid these fees. For example, if uh, ADU 3, 4, 5, and 6 were rented at, at affordable housing rates, uh, you can avoid the impact fees. If you sign a contract with the city stating you're going to live on the property for three years, you can also avoid those fees. And that seems like a pretty fair loophole to me. So the only thing I want to say in closing is when a city has a housing crisis the way San Diego does, it's important for the Development Services Department to encourage building. And that's the purpose of these ADU regulations. And that's why these impact fees were waived for the last five or six years. So to reinstate them at this point in our housing crisis in 2022, I'm just not sure it's a great move. I'm not sure it's a great look for a city of San Diego. If you have any further questions or you want to comment about this video, please put a comment in the comment box on YouTube um, or reach out in an email to me. My email is sean at 1070architecture.com.